Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video. I have a Lenovo laptop here and today I'm going to be shooting an, a, a general instruction video on how to uh, replace the hard drive in a Lenovo laptop. Uh, ideally, if you can find a teardown video or a disassembly video for your specific model, um, that would be ideal. It would show you exactly how to get into your unique computer. If you cannot find one which is common, then you can refer to this video for a, a general tutorial of, of, of how to get in there. So uh, to start with, I'm going to flip the computer over. Uh, generally speaking, many of you should have easy access panels or easy access doors that you can remove one or two screws, pop those out, and you have easy access to your hard drive and or your RAM. If, like me, you do not have those, then here's, here's a few pointers on, on how to get in. First of all, obviously remove all the visible screws. Um, it, it helps to have a magnetized screwdriver uh, to do this. Also keep in mind, if your battery slides out, make sure you check under there for screws. Sometimes they hide them. Uh, once you take out your DVD drive and slide that out, sometimes they hide screws under there. And also, watch out for your rubber feet. Sometimes they also hide screws under there. So keep track of all these things and uh, I'm going to get inside mine now and show you what we're looking at for the hard drive. Once you have all your screws out, uh, I generally use my little flat metal pry tool and I take it and I go on the seam of the bottom case and the palm rest and slowly pry those up. Keep in mind with some of your models as well, you may need to remove your keyboard first. Uh, take some screws out from underneath your keyboard to release this panel. Um, so keep in mind that there's a lot of different models made in a lot of different ways. So go slow and again try to find a disassembly video on, on yours. But I'm just going to take this and go across my bottom. Nice and easy. Try not to break it more than you have to. There you go. So we'll zoom into my hard drive here. Okay, so here's your hard drive. Hard drives and laptops will all kind of be held in the same way. Uh, they'll be fastened into a hard drive caddy or a holder. And then that holder will be screwed or fastened into the computer. And this prevents the, the hard drive from wiggling around or, or, or coming loose. Uh, so my caddy looks like it's screwed in in these two places. And it looks like if I unscrew those, the caddy will be released. So let me unscrew those, see if I can get this out that way. Oh, you know what? There's two screws holding the battery down that are also holding down the other side of the caddy. That's not very common to have a caddy held in by four screws, but this computer, that's what they're doing. So I'm going to unscrew my battery as well. Keep an eye out, sometimes the caddy's not screwed in at all, sometimes it's one screw, two screws, uh, so keep that in mind. So now I'm going to pull up my battery a little bit, and then my caddy should now come up. And then slide it back out of the port, like that. So there's your hard drive inside its caddy. Now a caddy is usually held in by four screws on either side of the hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and, and take those out now. Keep these screws separate from the other screws. They're not shaped the same. They're not the same length. So you don't want to get hard drive screws confused with the other screws in your computer. Okay, now once this is out, be very careful to maintain the correct orientation of your hard drive and, and your caddy. So this hard drive has to fit into the caddy this direction in order to fit in. That may be a, a, a better view of that, a long port in a short port. Um, so you're going to re remove your, your hard drive or, or, or your solid state drive and then bring the new one back in and place it in in the same orientation as your old one. In this case it helps because there's a little white arrow. If you're looking for the correct size of this to purchase one, most laptops um, will have a 2.5 inch, that's the size hard drive, and then a SATA connection, S-A-T-A. -A. So most laptops Look yours up to be sure, but most laptops, that's what you're looking for. 2.5 inch size, SATA connection, S-A-T-A. Uh, other than that, you can get whatever storage size you want. This one is a 128 gigabyte solid state. You can get a 500 gig hard drive, a terabyte hard drive, wh whatever you want. So then you take this and you plug it back in. 
set it down in there, plug it back into the port, make sure that the actual connection is, is secure. Then make sure that all your screw holes are lined up and you should be good to go and you can screw it back in. Keep in mind, after installing a new drive in your computer, there's most likely no operating system on this. So you're gonna to have to put an operating system onto this before you can use your computer. Look at the video link below in the description on how to install Windows 10 onto your hard drive. Um, again, this is a general tutorial, so it's not meant to exactly mirror your computer. If you're seeing anything that you're uncomfortable with, or if you're facing something that you didn't see in this video, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description first. It could save you some time. But if you don't see your question there, leave me a comment, uh, put your question in it, and I will try to get back to you a few times a day at least. Uh, so please like and share if this is helpful. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. And uh, thank you for watching, guys.